Hey, how you doing? This is Mr. Clipper with ACDC Econ, Key Economic Concepts in 60 Seconds. Today's a practice round. Okay, what I have for you up here is a perfectly competitive labor market and a firm trying to hire workers. And they're also selling their output in a perfectly competitive product market. Let's just say pizza. So take a look. This is number of workers. This is the output they're producing. So let's say this is no cooks, one, two, three, four, and five different cooks that I'm gonna hire for my company. Over here is the total amount of pizza. One cook can make five, two together can make 12, three can make 16. Up here, the wage is 20, and the price I can sell each one of these pizzas for is 10 bucks a piece, okay? What I need you to do is, I need you to do some calculations, if you already learned this concept, and figure out how many workers this firm should hire. Okay, I'll tell you right now, you need to calculate marginal product and marginal revenue product. If you know how to do that, I'll get out of your way, start that up, and we'll jump into this. Ready, good luck. Okay, did you figure it out? You know how many workers we should hire? Let's go over it together. The first thing you knew that you had to calculate was marginal product. Marginal product is the additional output generated from each additional worker. In this case, it's the additional pizzas created by these cooks. So this first cook, an additional five. The next cook, additional seven. Five to 12 is seven. Next cook, additional four. Next one, additional one. This next one actually had total product fall. And I'm never gonna hire that worker. I'm not even gonna analyze the fifth worker. Now that I know how much additional pizzas they made, I've got to convert that and how much revenue they brought in. Well, I have to multiply the marginal product times the price, and that'll give me the marginal revenue product. And the reason why is this price is set by the market, and that's a perfectly competitive product market. So the price isn't going to change. The price is set. So price times five pizzas gives me $50. This first worker generated an additional $50 for me. Second worker generated an additional $70. Next one, additional $40. Next one additional 10, and I don't care about that fifth worker. Now, how many workers do I hire? Well, I hire where MRP hits something else, which is MRC. MRC is the additional cost of hiring these workers, and it's equal to the wage. This first worker is willing to work for $20. The wage set by the market, second worker is willing to work for $20. $20, $20, dollars looks like this. Now, how many do you hire? Well, the first worker brings in $50, he cost me $20 to hire him, I'll hire him. Second worker brings in $70, cost me $20 to hire him, I'll hire him. Third worker brings in $40, cost me $20 to hire him, I'm going to hire him as well. As long as the additional revenue is higher than the additional cost, I'm going to hire him. Fourth worker, the additional revenue, they were only bringing in $10 and they cost me a wage of $20. I have to pay that guy $20, I'm not going to do it. The answer was 3 Till next time.